Hiya. In the uh, comments section underneath my Boston rig, somebody called David White asked if I could do a Peter Frampton uh, show me the way rig. And my immediate thoughts were no, um, because it's got that voice thing. You know, wah, 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 wah. And um, I've never been particularly fond of the song, although it is a brilliant song. I think I was overexposed in the 70s as a uh, impressionable youth. But anyway, I started thinking about it and then I thought, yeah, let's have a listen. So I listened to the track. And there's only two sounds in the entire song. One of them is an acoustic guitar and one of them is the voice box thing. So I immediately thought to myself, there's no chance. But then, of course, it's a challenge, isn't it? So in you go. So I've come up with a rig which has only got two sounds. It's got the acoustic intro and then the uh, horrible voice box thing, but an impersonation of it, obviously, because he's using his mouth as an envelope filter and we don't have that luxury. So where did I start? It's the uh, acoustic intro. Now, I figured that um, I wouldn't use an amp for the acoustic. I would try and use the acoustic simulator. That's my guitar. Straight in. I put a compressor at the front of the chain just to even out the... Keep the, the strumming nice and level. And then I put the acoustic simulator on, which is bright, just a guitar, acoustic simulator. Yes, it does have more of a an acoustic -y sort of feel to it, but somebody just threw a blanket over the sound. So what I did was I put a graphic in front of the acoustic simulator. And I used it to thin the guitar out. So that's the guitar. That's the guitar with the graphic. As you can see, what I've done, it's basically a, a line like that, big diagonal. So the lows are off, the mid lows are off, but not as much. Middle is the normal, um, middle is normal, and then the highs are up. And I've put a couple of dB of gain on it because a lot of volume went with the um, the bass going out. So that's where we're at now. It's nothing. So we put the acoustic simulator back on. It's more acoustic. You have to be aware of accidentally hitting the low strings because... Oh, that doesn't sound too bad. But anyway, it's still... Even with that graphic in front of the acoustic simulator, so without... Acoustic simulator, blankety, graphic in front, less blankety. It still needs some tonal EQ, so this second EQ is even more harsh on the uh, removing of the low end, the low mid, even some mid, although that's, that's to taste, really. not too bad so without everything just an acoustic guitar I mean just an electric guitar plugged in with the acoustic simulator blanket over it with the graphic in front a bit better graphic aft that'll cut so in a live setting I have learned the song this time, by the way. I never normally learn the song. It's a good song. I take it back, Pete. I was wrong all those years. And then I thought, well, when you're in the chorus, so you, you, you're singing away in the chorus. Uh, when... It would be nice if it was bigger. So I put the doubler on it, and now you've got a little bit more body while you're... you're chorusing away so the chorus without that would have been so I think that adds something for the chorus but for the actual for the main intro when you're just
you don't need it. So that's the that's the bulk of the song, the intro and the singing. And then, of course, we get to the main event, which is uh, the Silitron solo. So he starts, the first one he does is... So it's literally... I turned off all the acoustic stuff. I left the compressor on. I found it it helped it helped keep the solo moving. Um, it's a bog standard Plexi EL34 mod. Bit of gain. Everything's sort of in the middle, really. Quite a lot of bass. That's all the amp is. But it's all in the Tron filter. I love the Tron filter. I started off with the Funky Town preset, but we're nowhere near that now. I've changed it quite a lot. Um, the depth is that wah, wah, when it. Wah, when it comes in so if you play staccato you get the full wow if you let the notes run into each other you don't get as much wow so that's that the bass frequency is the is the sort of tone if you listen Gets a bit squelchy up. You want, you still want the low end, but you want it to wow, which is the the resonance helping there. The fat helps a lot. That makes a huge difference. Listen. Nothing. So it's all in, it's all in that. I did, I did try a few other things. I put another one on it, another filter, just to make it a bit more random. I tried a chorus. I put some um, different EQ on it. But at the end of the day, it sounded best with just the one Tron filter. I love the Tron filter anyway. So. Um, you know, it's all in there. I can't play it very well. But, and then, of course, back to your intro. And that's the whole rig. That's that's all there is to it. Um, I, I put two other buttons uh, on the rig. If you look, I'll show them to you. I've only got one camera going today. So I've just got the intro as one scene. I've got the solo sound as another. And then I've got the doubler on its own for the chorus and a bit of delay for the solo sound. Sometimes... The solo sound on its own. Uh, the solo sound on its own likes a bit of, especially on the. Parts that rings over into the intro bit. Oh, it's still going. And that's all there is to it. Two sounds, great song, well done, Pete. I take my hat off to you. So uh, I'll put this rig in the normal place. You can get it for nothing if you want it. Um, and I hope this has been helpful. I think the most helpful thing about this rig is the acoustic <laughs> sound, which is, it could be a tad harsh. Adjust it with that graphic to your taste. Um, other than that, show me the way. See you again. Bye now. <laughs>